Hey, this is Brad from PedalPowerGenerator.com. Right now we're looking at the PPGR300, which is a 300 watt roller style bicycle generator stand. This stand has a roller which is connected to a generator that puts out 10 to 24 volts DC depending how fast you pedal. User's guy here. And that has uh, some instructions on how to assemble the unit, how to put the bicycle on to the stand, and so forth. We have this pin, so take the stand all the way through this housing. So there we go. Take the other rubber, there's an adjustment ring knob and this pin here, this has to out about six. This step to hold it steady while you're putting this cup onto the nut of the axle. These stands require a lot of force to really tighten this down well, so um, don't be worried that you're over tightening. Um, if anything, try and go a few turns beyond. Also make sure your alignment is good on, over the roller. So if it's too far this way, you can address this piece here in that direction and the other piece in that direction, that'll move the whole alignment over. So you want to be in the center of this. It's also normal right to see a slight bowing of these two parts in the outside direction, out that way. But uh, next step is to tighten this down real good. These are the locks. You, if you're doing an event with a lot of people that are going to get on here, you want to make sure the locks are on. And again, just push as hard as you can. Don't use a hammer on them, just push real tight and check them after the first two rides or three rides to make sure that they're not loosening up. Alright, so now we have the bike secured, the sides are locked, the wheels aligned over the top, it's ready to make electricity. Next step is to go ahead and tighten the generator roller against the tire. Before you do this, you need to have the tire inflated to its maximum PSI, and that's located on the side of the tire. In this case, I believe this tire is rated for 60 PSI. You want it hard because it has better uh, traction, less friction. Okay, you can see here, about a half inch away. Now we're touching the tire, the drag one. You can try this to start with. For people riding trying to get over 100 watts, you'll have to tighten it more. For kids that are just trying to light up a simple light bulb or just get 10 or 20 or 30 watts, you just barely need to tighten it down. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and do a, a test on the generator and just make sure it's working. The first thing we'll do is we'll get a voltmeter, and these are available at many places, sometimes as low as $5. You can set it to DC voltage, and we're gonna say 20 volt range, and these particular test clips are very handy. They can clip onto the wire. They're called alligator clips or test clips. And uh, they're nice for check checking your, your generator system. So we're gonna go ahead and hook that up now. Okay, coming with the system is a generator cord. It's 12 gauge, you can handle, uh, the rating on 12 gauge wire is 20 amps. So once again, you don't force this at all. There's a wide feature on the barrel here and a narrow feature. We wanna just slide those in real gently with the metal facing upward, and you should click just like that. Now you've got connection. Here's our voltmeter set to DC to voltage. The wire. Okay. See how it does. Looks 
like we hit 14 volts there. All right, now that your generator is hooked up and tested, you can go ahead and hook it up to whatever you want to provide power to. You can hook it up to a battery for saving your energy. You can hook it up to different lighting displays through a regulator that will keep the voltage stable at 14 volts. Um, there are many types of light bulbs that will run off of a 14 volt regulator. These are found by going to Google or Amazon and typing in a search for RV light bulb or RV 12 volt There's light bulb. There's also different options for just different types of displays. Check the website out or give us a call if you want more ideas. Thanks and have a great day.